Hey everyone, welcome to I Just Watched. I'm Joseph. We're about to discuss Black Adam. Spoiler free. There'll be no spoilers in this one. I will have a separate video for that. Let's get into it right off the bat. This movie has a lot in it that I actually really enjoy, that I really like. I think, honestly, overall, the movie, it's good. It's borderline really good. There's a few moments of extra cheesiness or things that just didn't make too much sense, like a slow motion scene. It just didn't make sense the way it happened on screen. Small little details. I think this movie was only lacking a couple small things to make it a great movie. I think the story is actually really good or has the potential to be really, really good. Family, love, bond story, and it's there, it's it's good. Like, there's just small things that are keeping me from saying this movie's great. Dwayne, The Rock Johnson, did a really good job. The thing that would have elevated his character more is small details, as a fan that I had previously mentioned. The biggest one is a Kondarkian accent, where everyone else in the movie that's from there has an accent. He's the only one without one. And I had mentioned before, him having that accent would just would have made him more intimidating, more, it would have felt more real versus just hearing The Rock speak. I think the writing, for the most part, was actually really good. And if he would have been able to come off with an actual accent, because like when he speaks the native tongue it sounds great you hear it and you're like oh yeah that's like that's i was like okay that's kind of black adam right there and then he just starts to speak and i'm like oh no yeah that's the rock damn it that's a very small touch that would have elevated this movie much higher for me other small little things like i would have loved the pointy ears but i can get over it because there's other things i really enjoyed i like what it's trying to set up there's a lot in this movie from trying to give us the the jsa that has pre-existed. Homeboy who plays Hawkman killed it. I thought he did a really good job. Everyone in the JSA did a really good job. Cyclone, Adam Smasher. Brosnan as Dr. Fate I think was great, but my biggest issue with him, I kind of knew it or expected it going in, is that they nerfed Dr. Fate a lot. He's still powerful, but he's the most powerful character on screen, basically the entire movie that he's on screen. He should be, at least. And he was definitely nerfed. I understand it was to make Black Adam seem even more powerful and don't get me wrong black adam is immensely powerful very powerful character the way they brought him and gave us his origin story and transitioned him to the hero i thought was really cool i just wish we would have been able to see dr fate because even dr fate but he even talks about how he's not as powerful to handle this situation and things like that bother me because dr fate is so much powerful because it's not just the dude the dude is a vessel i digress because i think dr fate after seeing this deserves his own movie and you can introduce the Justice League Dark in that movie, but that's another conversation. We'll have that later. Another thing I really enjoyed was the, the team itself. So you have Hawkman and Dr. Fate who are have been friends for, <laughs> it feels like ever. And I like their bond because they're, they're vets, so to speak. They have worked together before. They're very cohesive. They're friends. And then you got the two youngins, which is Adam Smasher. And I like the fact that they even point out that he's taking over for the original. And then you got Cyclone. And then they're the young cats. Cyclone being smart. She looked great. I love when the hair was down. And I really enjoyed their bond because you get to see them as the younger ones. Cyclone had more experience than Adam Smasher on the field. But you got to see the way it developed and the way they became a team. I thought it was actually really fun. It was really good. This movie starts off okay then it gets really good and then the ending was kind of a letdown because of the villain i was super excited for savak but he looked like a genie he was just all cg i was kind of hoping it's because you have a giant cg monster and then you have the rock in front of him and all these other characters like standing there definitely cg moments in this movie that were just no bueno overall i think it's a pretty good movie you're gonna enjoy the hell out of it it's a pretty fun movie there's some good moments there's some great moments there's some moments i'm not a huge fan of i liked it more than i thought i would small little things that i'll get more into detail with in the spoiler one that i think some could have been taken out some should have been kept in and it would have made the movie great it would have made it a really amazing movie what's funny is i don't know how long the movie actually is i just remember sitting down and enjoying it that's a good sign however i feel like like this movie would actually benefit it if it had a little bit more time not individual story but a couple more conversations amongst the team to introduce themselves to each other not necessarily like hey, I'm Adam Smasher this is what I do it would have been benefited if they're just kind of how they did with Cyclones powers but overall really good movie check it out if you've seen it how do you feel about the movie did you like it did you hate it do you agree do you disagree with anything I'm saying I want to hear from you down below this is definitely a step in the right direction again Dr. Fate deserves his own movie Hawkman and the JSA deserve his own movie Dr. Fate introduce your Justice League Dark. JSA, you can introduce classics and build a whole retro world. And I really do hope we get to see Black Adam in Shazam 2, even if it's just for a little bit at the end, some kind of conversation. And I actually like the fact that they went accurate with a lot of things, because you know, I'm a stickler for that. But I digress, because I want to just talk about it. Again, lastly, hear your thoughts down below. <laughs> Comments, questions, concerns, requests. I love hearing from you. Stay tuned. Spoiler review, in-depth stuff, all the goodies coming out Monday. Until then, stay safe, be well. Adios.